Maureen again from White Rose Fashions, a bridal consultant. And today we are going to talk about the roles of a maid of honor. Yes. Um, the maid of honor is always, um, when you are appointed as a maid of honor, the first thing that comes to your mind is you will be working side by side of the bride as she walks down the aisle. You should be able to carry her purse or her bouquet. Those are the ordinary things that um, the maid of honor thinks that they are entitled to. But you are so wrong. Number one, as a maid of honor, you are supposed to accompany the bride during all the first visits. The bride is new, never been married before. Even if she is lucky enough to do a second wedding, they again need all that a wedding entails. So this bride will be very green to start with looking for um, her gown, looking for um, maid's dresses, the shops where they will be able to do the dresses, shopping for shoes, shopping for accessories, the deco people and all that. You'll find that um, a bride will be able, a bride will be walking alone throughout this period because you think as a maid of honor, you're supposed to appear on the wedding day. No, you are supposed to uh, accompany the bride in all these visits. She really does need your help and it is your role. That is why she appointed you. But again, that is why I'm here to let you know in case you didn't know. The second thing, the bride will have um, pre-weddings. You are supposed to be, uh, you, you should be able to conduct, um, to be able to conduct the, the, the bridesmaids, to be able to be maybe at the gate selling uh, the badges or the flowers. You know, generally you're supposed to be the planner in that uh, pre-wedding. And some bride, uh, some, some people might think that this maid of honor is too much, she's too intrusive. No, it's her role. She has a role to play and she must do it. Yes. Now, the third thing that um, you are supposed to ensure that you do is uh, accompany the bride during the fit, the, um, accompany the bride during the gown fitting. The bride will come and they will do their first fitting. We get this a lot. You find that a bride will come and do their fitting and then they will be torn between dresses and they will tell you, let me go talk to my bride, to my maid of honor. I see whether she's free so that she can be able to bring me back. It is not like I see whether she's free. It is her role and she accepted it that day. So she should be able to accompany you to a bridal shop to be able to tell you what is good for you. And they should not be people who sugarcoat stuff or people who are mean to you. They should be really close to you such that they should be able to tell you, you know what, the thing color that you have chosen and the dress uh, design that you've chosen, it's not working. The kind of a gown that you've chosen and your body type they are not, it's not working. If the bridal shop is not able to tell you, uh, uh, like, if the bridal shop is not able to face you and let you know, because, you know, majority of bridal shops, they're just trying to make a sale of which we believe a bridal shop should be able to guide you and tell you what is right for you. And if it's not flattering your body, they should be able to tell you, no, that gown is a no, let's try another one. So majority of bridal shops won't tell you that. That is why that maid of honor should always accompany you to this visit so that they can be able to let you know what you need. The other thing, um, searching for vendors. Yeah, you find that um, the bride will need uh, like the cake, cake uh, vendors, the venue, and things like that so you should be able to the bride will always tell you i prefer or i have seen this and this person uh they have good rates on the cake or they have good rates or they did something nice for my friend you should be able to come you should be able to counter that be able to look for other vendors so that you can sit down and discuss and be able to pick the best in terms of quality of whatever you want and uh the price rates because at the end of the day this is a wedding they are all expensive there's no wedding that is budget free or there's no wedding that is very cheap so they involve money so you should be able to make sure that the bride cuts cost as much as she can yeah i always tell the bride she should only not be not compromise on the suits her gown 
and the food everything else you should be able to cut cost here and there okay because at the end of the day you are left by uh, with pictures and there are your memories so as much as we, we you're saying i'm on a budget i am cutting cost at the end of that wedding which by 6 p.m everyone is gone your wedding after a week people will, won't even <laughs> remember sorry to say you will be left with those photos so invest in a good photographer one and a video videographer not necessarily they come as a package ensure that his camera is really good to capture the moment you will frame that you will be able to look at that and 50 years down the line and say one thing i loved about my photos they were super clear um what was in the caption of the photo the whole the team now there is no photo that you will frame it had food the food that people ate you know so there will be the groom yourself in your gown the bridal team so ensure that you look the best for memory's sake yeah so let's go back to the maid of honor now um uh, the other thing the other role that a maid of honor should be able to know that it is her role is planning the bridal party ensure that you find that in uh, people will be meeting here and there and they'll be discussing and asking each other uh, so who is planning uh, Massey's baby shower? I haven't heard about it. I'm just waiting for the sister to plan. It does not have to be the role of the sister, the family, the cousin, the best friend. No, it is your role as the maid of honor to be able to plan for the bridal party. Be able to look for her friends uh, because you're already in the in the in the whatsapp group for the bridesmaids be able to talk to the bridesmaids be able majority of the showers you know they are surprised so just find your ways and plan the bridal party it's her day it's your role yeah yeah and in planning uh the bridal shower note that there are things like a bridal robe that you're supposed to to do on that day as the uh, as the bridal team ensure that they have such all right then ensure that you're there during um ensure that you're there during the bride's fitting to basically uh, during the makeup trials to ensure that the makeup is on point and it's going really well with her her skin tone okay ensure that uh basically the bride is sharp from head to toe her hair her makeup her gown her shoes and your checklist her checklist you have it on tick and everything is good ensure again that uh you have a um, first aid kit this kit should be able to have an extra panty should be able to have sanitary towels a needle and a thread handkerchief towels yes during um the the vows she might need a handkerchief you know some of us are emotional <laughs> and all that so ensure that you come handy be able to open that clutch bag faster faster and you wipe her tears here and there hold her bouquet as she signs the certificates and um, moving on the next thing that uh, you should ensure that you do as a maid of honor is ensure that the bride eats you find that in, in a wedding, you will find the maid of honor, she's very busy eating. The bride has not eaten. So ensure that if she is eating, I assume you're hungry as well. Make sure that both of you are eating at the same time. Because you need the energy again to be able to do your job. Yeah. Majority of african or kenyan weddings they don't tend to have an evening party of which we are changing that almost every bride now um they are doing an evening party so if there is an evening party as a maid of honor you're supposed to have the uh, to join uh, the couple on their first dance so the, um you and your best man being together married or not you should be able to do um to join them and do the first dance together um ensure that the bride is calm yeah you find that some bride will be very nervous yeah ensure that all the time you keep in check with the bride like are you okay how are you doing ensure that she's holding it together some of them it might be a very emotional day yeah so make sure that the bride is calm and collected all the time during her day yeah the other thing uh during 
the vows you'll find that the 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 father or the pastor will tend to tell the bride the brides and the groom will kneel uh, during prayers make sure that those pillows are there you find that in a wedding they are starting to look for pillows all over the church and if you find there those church uh, that have high table has those cushion uh, seats that have a cushion you find that they are now waking people up to get the cushions to kneel on them you no know, ensure that these are the things that you need to do to check on your checklist right before the wedding the most important thing ensure that you dress in a way that is appropriate appropriate i mean if you can be able to keep it long please do if you can be able to keep it tight long and you can be able to move around bend and uh, uh things like that then that's okay why i am saying ensure that your dress is comfortable and decent the major or the most part of uh, 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 uh the major role that you're supposed to play is to make sure that you you align the gown uh your the gown the bride's gowns or rather you find that uh, a bride has a very beautiful gown it has a very long tail but the whole time in a wedding the maid of honor is holding the tail up like this like i don't know a blanket or something something that really really pisses me off something that drove me to make this video for you the maid of honor to be able to know it is your job to make sure that you align that gown every step she she takes align that gown yes just align that gown align it and align it because she only has one wedding the gown is not a normal dress it was expensive she needs good photos again the photos part so make sure that you align that gown make sure that you keep in check with the bride that she will love her day yeah yeah and uh the last point at the end of the wedding the end of the day after cake cutting you will find that there's a box of gifts and most of them will be envelopes nowadays people will ask for envelopes and go buy what they want rather than you give them things that they will never use so ensure that your maid of honor as a bride is one a very trustworthy person because she should be able to handle your um, gift list box and be able to accompany it with you to your hotel and you will feel safe that you can be able to trust her yeah although money matters just ensure that your money boxes are under lock and key yeah just don't trust anyone when it comes to that yes so thank you so much i don't know if there is um anything i haven't touched uh on the maid of honor role but just ensure that you find someone in general what i'm trying to say even you as a bride look for a maid of honor who is flexible don't go get an eight months pregnant uh maid of honor and expect her to align and expect her to align your gown yeah so ensure that the person who and people don't have to be pregnant not to be lazy there are people who are just generally lazy there are people i have seen they have come with the bride during fitting and they are there saying oh thank god you picked the gown without a tail hey at least I won't be tired that day. That is why you are appointed as a maid of honor to be able to conduct your roles. So play your roles and play them really good. Okay. All this I am saying with so much love. So don't frown. Don't feel hated. I am trying to make the bride, which is our job. I am trying to make the bride enjoy her day and have the wedding of her dreams. Yeah. So this is a bridesmaid's dress and uh, it can also be worn by the maid of honor and um, accessory this accessory can be able to be worn by a bride and also the team and also the maid of honor yeah and as you pick your dress and as you pick your dresses ensure that you don't um, compete with the bride the bride has to steal the show okay so don't compete with her thank you so much we are located at dam estate langata road um white rose bridal shop number 33 we have uh, gowns so many pieces we have a line we have empire we have sheath we have from the ag simple wedding to the complicated weddings 
we sort you all around. We have accessories, we have the bridal party um, robes, we have the evening dresses, we have everything, bridal shoes, you name it, everything that a bride needs, we are your one-stop shop. So are you sure that you subscribe, 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 share and help that bride out there because you never know um, where your blessings are coming from. You are always told that if you are happy for others, good things will come your way. So share to that bride that you know needs a gown or is planning a wedding. And you might get that proposal wedding on her day. You never know. We love you. My name is Maureen Wainaina. Thank you for watching. Subscribe, subscribe, subscribe.